A few years ago, Dr. Kibbe was using her male rats to study a problem that occurs in people. You're going to show she us explained that after common surgical procedures like balloon angioplasty, which opens up blocked arteries, scar tissue often grows and blocks them off again. And this is scar tissue right here? Yes. She discovered that a drug called nitric oxide could prevent that process in her rats. She is a, one of our superstars at Northwestern, a tremendous surgeon. Teresa Woodruff is also a professor at Northwestern Medical School and heads their Women's Health Research Institute. One day at lunch, Dr. Kibbe told her about the success she'd been having with her treatment. I said, oh, well, that's interesting. What happens, uh, what are the similarities or differences between males and females? And she said, oh, well, I don't study females. I only study males. And she says, have you studied it in females? And I looked at her blank-faced. And I said, no, I'm studying it in male animals. She's like, Melina. And so she educated me. Did she chastise you or <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself? All of the above. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she really got me thinking. Woodruff challenged Kibby to go back and try her study in female animals, giving her a grant through her institute to buy the additional rats. Up until this lunch, did you, in your own mind, assume that male and females responded the same? I did. I was shocked at the outcome. I still remember the real epiphany moment when she came running into my office and said, there's a 180 degree difference between males and females. You know, that's powerful because that drug doesn't work the same in males and females, most likely. And so by uncovering this out of a lunch, we can change human health.